Hi folks, it's Priya and I'm here with Dwayne, Technology Analyst with IMTS. Today we're going to talk a little bit about thin clients. As part of the Windows 7 project, some workstations might be replaced with these thin clients and Dwayne's here to show us the similarities and differences between a traditional desktop workstation and a thin client machine. Shall we get started? Let's do it. Okay. So over here on the left hand side we have a regular workstation which you use along with everyone else in the ministry. That's right, that's the big thing on my desk. The big bulky thing, right. And over here on the right hand side is the thin client. Wow, that's so much smaller. How does that even work, Dwayne? Basically it works on the same concept as a regular workstation. You plug in your monitor, your network cable, your keyboard and your mouse, but there are some differences. Okay. One is you don't have a hard drive. And two is you don't have a CD, DVD drive. Okay, and that's what makes it so much smaller. Exactly. Okay, but without a hard drive, where does all my data go? Well, let me show you. All right, let's get okay. started then. So we're going to log in. Now this login screen looks different than what I'm used to. Do I use the same username and password? Yes, you do. Okay, perfect. So one of my biggest concerns, Dwayne, is does logging onto a thin client take longer than logging onto my normal desktop machine? I would say it would be about the same. Okay, perfect. So you're going to be presented with two options here when you log in. Okay. And here you have to select Citrix Desktop 2010. All right. And you're going to have a legal notice come up. Or There you go. Just All click right. OK. This is starting to look like it's the same again. Yeah. So it's going to start loading up the policies, the profiles, you name it. All the regular stuff. So exactly. I'm back to a normal login process. It just looked a little bit different. And I had to make the one click. Yeah, just a little bit different. Does that click come up every single time? Yes, it does. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's the pups. Yes. Everything looks the same again. The doggies are back. All right. Okay. So here, it looks the same. You're going to have your start button. So click on the start button. Mm -hmm. All programs. And as you can see, you got Microsoft Office. So you're going to have your base applications. So I'll look in Explorer, Word, Excel. Okay, so I can continue to open up my documents, my spreadsheets, go on my PDFs, all that's still available to me. Yes. Okay, but where's my data? No hard drive. I'm a little worried. <laughs> exactly. Your thin client does not have a hard drive, and you're not supposed to be saving your data on the hard drive to begin with. Okay. So you click on Windows Internet Explorer, uh, Windows Explorer. Yep. And as you can see, you got your network drives. Oh, there they are, the J drives in its normal place. And as you can see, you also have your My Documents as well. Okay, perfect. So all of my network data, which is where I should be saving things, is still with me. Right. All right. And our thing, too, is your printers, your network printers. Yes. How do I print? The same exact way. Your network printers will follow you. Okay, perfect. So, device printers. And as you can see, My Network Printer is there. Oh, awesome. So... Let me get this straight. I still have all of my data in the same location. I can print. All of my apps are there. What's the difference? The biggest difference is when you log off. Okay. You're supposed to log off every night, but That's with right. Think Client, if you don't log off and you have Word documents open or Excel and you haven't saved them, it'll automatically log you off and you'll lose all your work. Ooh, okay, so I just have to remember to log off every night. Yes. And that's it? That's, that's the only it. difference? That's it. All right, so just to get a closer look at this, here's my desktop looks like on a thin client, and this is what my desktop looks like on a traditional desktop machine. There's really no difference in the end after all. Thanks so much for the time and for showing us around these, Dwayne. I really appreciate it. It's been my pleasure.